Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Stefan Valin of Tail F. Stefan, thanks for talking to us. Developing of APIs for NFV, let's start at the very basic NFV 101 sort of level. What actually are APIs? Uh, in the networking industry, we've been used to using user interfaces and have not paid real attention to APIs and uh, usually quote some API definitions from Joseph Bluch from Google. Uh, a couple of characteristics being minimal, still complete, clear semantics, easy to use, well documented. Those are kind of key characteristics. So that should also then be transferred to APIs in the networking industry. And also, I heard a lot of presentations here at the conference saying the network is so complex I can't, I can't really reuse my assets. I can't make services out of my network. So another key characteristic of an API is to hide the implementation. So a good network API should hide the network complexity and provide the network functions over the API. What role will APIs have in the network virtualized future? And more to the point, what benefits will they offer? Hmm. If you look at the core ideas of NFV and also SDN, if you take away the fluff a little bit, it's about automation. Uh, we need to do things quicker. We need to provision services instantly. We need to be able to be flexible and agile. That's what all the speakers here are talking about. So that means that we can't just stick with manual interfaces to reconfigure the network. We need to be able to dynamically program them. And that means we need an API definition towards the network which hides the complexity, gives the operator a way to use the assets. So that, that's a key role for APIs. So how do they need to be developed and implemented? Uh, as all valuable assets, you need to pay attention. Um, today, APIs are a, bit, a little bit bottom-up driven. It's a little bit of ad hoc. You have key individuals, bright individuals, delivering the network functions, and then as a side effect, there pops up an API. Uh, which give sometimes good, sometimes bad. So we just need to pay attention. We need to apply computer science principles. We need to, to view on the API as a product itself and, and test it for characteristics and usability. So much more attention. And to start with, the, the first role are the people delivering the VNFs, the devices. They need to provide high quality interfaces as part of their product so that it can be consumed by the service providers as part of an orchestration scenario. And of course, uh, the final point there is that standards are important. If everyone comes with its own API, we're a bit lost still. And, and there are standard APIs. IETF is, is seriously defining the NetConf API as the API for the network. So uh, that is, of course, the key idea. Reuse what is standardized, use that API technology from IETF. What roles do the telcos, the vendors and the developers play in this entire process? So as I said, it sort of starts in the chain from the, from the equipment vendors. Uh, they need to learn and be good at that. I mean, then the APIs come to the service provider. It's being used by integrators, by the service provider who needs to put requirements. Uh, today we have a habit of accepting whatever we get, not putting enough requirements on high quality interfaces. Um, because typically you put high requirements on the, on the traffical interface, but not on the API source devices. So they have a big role pushing requirements back to the vendors, asking for standards, asking for high quality interfaces. So we get the loop there in order to get quality interfaces at the end. So that, that interaction must start. And what do you think would be the ideal set of APIs? The ideal set of APIs going back to requirements, minimal and complete. So if I run a network, I don't want an API that exposes every detail of the network. I want the minimum API that exposes the services that myself and my customers are using. So, and secondly, full lifecycle support. So not just provision and creating the service, being able to modify, fine-grained, change the services and delete them. So full lifecycle support for the services, skip the network details. That would be the perfect API. Thank you, Stefan Wallin. Thank you.